I'm only three feet tall. Once I can do it, you can do it too. Meet 47-year-old Kansita Simpson, a small farmer with big dreams. Standing at only three feet tall, Kansita is a true testament to the shared strength, determination, and resilience of our Jamaican people. And that height, age, weight, or a disability is not always a deterrent factor in what one can achieve when you put your mind to it. And though Kansita's story is a little different, I'm very much inspired by her determination and drive to be successful and to provide for her family. You're watching Shenzhen Zen Jamaican Vibes. Do enjoy the rest of this video. I'm Kansita Simpson. I'm from Genus. I'm, I'm been farming from 15 years now. And I, need, I plant tomato, cauliflower, cabbage, carrot, all things I farm. And I'm so small and I'm going on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man, you're an inspiration, Kansita. It's nice to see our females in St. Elizabeth farming. So, um, can you tell the viewers how old you are? I'm 47 years old. Okay, you're 47. I have a little son, yeah. short, I'm the same. Okay, so he helps you along with your farming? Yes. So like the labor work and so on in the farm? I they do it for me. Your son helps you and other person? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But I have to pay the labor. Oh, you have to pay them, right, right. But it's really rough now for me. Okay. Yes, That's I. I am asking for help. Yeah, man, I I understand. Somebody told me of your story, and I said, you know what? I'm going to try my best and see how I can help you on my platform. So this is the piece of land you're planning to um, farm up. Yeah. And what are some of the crops you you plan to plant? Tomato, cauliflower, and sweet pepper. Okay. Sometimes good and sometimes bad. Sometimes you cultivate it and you get it and sometimes you don't get it. Okay. So which which crop you would say is your preference or you specialize in? Tomato. Tomato? Okay. And so let me show the viewers the land. It's a nice size land. Okay. Alright. So um so Miss Cancita, when you farm and so what you do, you sell it to um market vendors or I sell it to market vendors and I go to the market with my sister. Oh you go to market yourself too? Yeah with my sister. How long you've been going to market with your sister? Five years but I stopped. Oh because you don't nothing now go on. Oh nothing now go on, that's why you need some help. So how how do, do people treat you, you know, when you're out on the road? Being by you know you're a little shorter than they average person. See. They're they glad to see him, but they make fun of me sometimes. Oh, okay, and that's not nice. Well, I have politics. Yes, yes. So you just laugh after them when they laugh. Yes. <laughs> I saw it go, man. <laughs> yes. Okay, and we're here to assist you any way we can, right? Because we have a lot of wonderful viewers who I know will appreciate and see that your story is an inspiration being that you're only three feet tall you know this is an example no matter how times are rough you're a great example to you know our fellow jamaicans who sometimes are lazy <laughs> you're a great example man so miss Kansita, how best can i assist you by way of me and my viewers who have a passion for people like you who are willing to work to do farming well, how can we assist you? I call him a number. No, no, I mean like in what way would you want help? In what way would I want help? Yes. Because I can make it to do nothing else besides go to the farm. Oh, That's so the way I want to help. I know man, but what exactly would you want to farm? You want some seeds and yeah, some seeds and fertilizer and, and stuff? Yeah. Okay, okay. I don't have any water, irrigation water well, or nothing. I'm not going to tell you. I have a pan. All pan, but as long as the rain up, I'll go get the water. Oh. I have to catch it by the rain up. Okay. So, so what about irrigation um, hose? Would you want some hose to drip it up? Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, because that would be easier for you if you could get some irrigation hose, right? Yes, yes. Okay, alright. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I see them and they introduce me, but I ask me what I can do for life. I tell them I'll be calm. Yes. Okay. Come to you. Yeah, man. Oh, God. It's a nice piece of land, man. So you have the land cleaned on already. You just need to 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 start your farming. There is a life, there is hope. Once I can do it, you can do it. Alright, Miss Cansita, this is just a start. Um, I, I have some sweet pepper seeds, some tomato seeds, and the cauliflower seeds you requested, but it's just one of each. Right, but this is a start. And I, I got you some trays, there are three trays there, and some potting soil. So you know you can start up your farming. Thank you. You're welcome, man. And anyone else want to come and board? Of course, we gratefully accept it, right? And um, to my viewers who can assist by way of donating more seeds, fertilizer, we would I would gratefully appreciate it. But let's get this lady some assistance because she is definitely an inspiration. And let's inspire her more to continue her farming. Consita. You're an inspiration and I want you to continue farming. Alright? Thank you. As we all know guys, it's not okay to sit down and wait for a handout. And this is what the world is made of. People like Consita who are willing to do their farming and make a living for, for themselves. So let's just help her and move on. Alright? So that's it from here in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. Remember, walk good and make good doppy walk with you. Thank you. You're welcome.